yo, yo, what up fellow cyberpunks and retro nerds, it's your old pal, Tommy the Hammer. Today I thought we would discuss a movie that I happen to think is a lot of fun. It's the 1986 Kevin Bacon vehicle, Quicksilver. And I gotta tell you guys, there were a lot of movies like this back in the day. So I got a soft spot for these uh, cheesy 1980s films. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen Quicksilver in quite some time. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my memory. You guys are gonna be peeping the trailer just so you know what I'm talking about. And then when we come back, we're gonna be discussing Quicksilver a little bit. He wasn't just good, he was the best. I'm gonna sell every option I can get. What are you doing, John? I know what I'm doing. I'm looking for lightning to strike. This is it, this is it. This is it, this is it, this is it. How bad is it? I lost it all. Everything. Craig Silver. Jack Casey's just landed. 7th Avenue, two together, go! I don't have half of what you have. In a world where the pressure's off. I'm on the street, I, I feel good, man. I, I feel exhilarated. I go as fast as I like. Street side says one way east, I go west. Risk is purely personal. <laughs> and power is in your every move. You, you're telling me that driving a bike and delivering junk, that's for you? anymore. Not the nerve. Well, Hector said you were some kind of big head honcho once. Survival's an instinct you learn on the streets. Well, if that's the case, and Jack is so smart, then what's he doing here? And that's not something you don't know nothing about. This isn't about business, is it? Then winning is a feeling you never lose. You have all these choices that you can make. Now, Jack Casey's climbing back. Get out. His way. I'm staying with it. When you have nothing left, all you really need Jack is, up the floor. is the courage to get it back. Kevin Bacon. Quicksilver. Quicksilver serves as the perfect time capsule of the mid-1980s. And as I was watching it, I couldn't help but reflect upon how difficult things were for people back in the day. I mean, if you wanted to make a phone call, or write a letter, or just get out and about in the big city, well, you had to roll your sleeves up and get your hands a little bit dirty. And that's why I appreciate movies like Quicksilver. They serve as a reminder for a bygone era. But in terms of the actual movie itself, I still think it's a lot of fun. Kevin Bacon is fantastic in the lead. The rest of the cast is extremely likable. The soundtrack itself is very fitting of the movie. And there's even a young Lawrence Fishburne cameo at the very beginning of the film. In terms of the actual storyline, well, I think it's serviceable enough. There's a few narrative structures that I found to be kind of disjointed, and certain story elements were left rather vague, which can be a little frustrating. But you know what, guys? You can't get too angry at a movie like Quicksilver. This is just a feel-good 1980s movie. Nothing more, nothing less. And uh, you know what? It's actually a little more adult than certain other more popular 1980s fare. So out of 10 stars, I could give this movie a solid 6.5.